Hey people, welcome back. Just a quick one today. Having some problems with the starter motor on the T4. Every now and again when you turn the key you just get a click. You've got to then turn the key repeatedly before the starter will engage. Common problem with most starters. Um, it's only three Allen head bolts. Take them into the engine bay, have a look. Should be a quick swap out. Got a replacement on flea bay, reconditioned for I think it was 56 quid. So let's get stuck in. Only going to be a quick one. All right, so we're just under the front of the van now, by the front bumper. bumper, bumper. It's a bit awkward, it's a bit tight for space, but basically there's your start motor. You've got three Allen held bolts, one there, one there, and then one up on top, which is hard to see. Might be able to just get him in there. You've got that bolt there has got to be undone. And there's a cable onto a spade behind. See the red cable over there? But first things first, because we're doing the starter motor, and that cable there is live, we need to disconnect the battery. That's up top. Just going to be a 10mm bolt. Take a battery cable off, tuck him in out of the way, and then we can have a look together and then uh, Allen it bolts off. Alright, it's going to be awkward for me to film, but I've got the three bolts out. Got to be careful because they're holding the, the pipework brackets as well. I've done that bolt. Focus. And the cable. All three bolts are out, so I'm going to try and we just got to maneuver him, if I can get back a bit, straight out. And he is going to be quite heavy, so... He's stuck in that bracket. There we go. That's him out. And then obviously that's the hole that the new one's going to go back in. And then you can see that third bolt up top then. So let's compare the two, the old and the new, and get him stuck back in. Okay, so there's the old, there's the new. The new is slightly shorter, but everything else seems to be right. The holes have seemed to line up. Sprocket seems okay. So basically it's just a reverse now. We've got to lift that up into that hole in our socket and then get the three Allen head bolts in and then obviously you live and then the cable I was on about connects to that spade live and then your spade to there so I'll get them in place and we'll start the bolts get them tightened up all right okay so I've put the bottom two bolts on and the top bolt is tucked in behind those wires I've done the cable on the spade I've done the power nut up. Don't over tighten this nut. This came with a, a split washer so it won't back off on its own. The only tip I can give you is when you put the three bolts in, don't do them all up or the bottom ones up first. Put them all in and just get them hand started just to make sure you've got all the holes lined up before you actually tighten them right in. I've put the battery back on so we'll give him a, a fire up now check he's uh, all good he's out the gear here we go straight up lovely so there you are we'll uh, Knock him off, but basically, I know it was only a quick video, but that's it. There's three Allen head bolts, and it's situated as you look at the engine on the right hand side. You've got your water bottle, follow your water bottle down, and it'll be directly below the water bottle. This is a 1.9 turbo diesel, 
but they're all in the same place like I said you've got the power cable coming in take that nut off and clip your spade but do your battery first just to make sure that uh, nothing's gonna short or you know gonna touch a socket or a spanner into anything I'm just tucking my uh, cable out of the way a minute but yeah apart from that that's it it's like I said that's the old one they are prone to go in and what was happening when I turned the key he was just having a click click every now and again you'd have to keep turning the key then to get him to actually fire over um, that's all I used was a 6 mil allen head a 10 mil socket for the battery 13 mil for the power lead and obviously a couple of extension bars just to get in Hope that helps. It is really that easy to change the uh, starter motor. As you can see, this one it's probably not past this date, but you can see it's starting to fray and it could probably be reconditioned. So, but there you are. I'll chuck them in a the box, keep them in the shed. It works, it just needs uh, a bit of overall. Hope this helps. Stay tuned as I do more on the van now. I'll try and uh, Get some more videos going for you people we've fitted the side window so i've got this side window to do so that'll be the next video stay tuned